All right, this will be quiz number two for the face, anterior, neck. Um, same as all the other ones. Once we're done asking the questions, we'll pause the video, or, or you can pause the video, take some time to go over your answers, and then when you're ready, unpause, and we'll go over all the answers together. All right, number one. Number one is we take this muscle, reflect it. And, whoop, sorry, this stuff's not in the right position. There we go, let's go back. So we take this muscle, we reflect it. I want you to identify this next muscle down that we have right here, that one there. That's number one. Number two is gonna have two parts. So we start at the tip of the chin and we go down, we run into one, two, three things. 2A is I want you to identify what this whole second structure is. That's 2A, this whole thing that I'm moving right there, right? 2B is specifically identify what this feature is. And that is a part of that larger piece there. So 2A is the whole thing, 2B is just that part. Number three is here. We want to identify what is this structure right here. That thing that I'm moving right there. That's number three. Number four is we're going to take this muscle that we identified just before, get that out of the way. We're going to grab these two muscles here, right? We have these two. Of those two, I want you to identify this muscle here, which starts there and ends on that first neck structure up here. So from here to there, identify that muscle there. Number five, so let's put this back. Let's move this down. Number five is I just want you to identify the muscle that surrounds this area right here. Identify the muscle that surrounds that area. That's five. Number six, we're gonna take this, reflect it again. We're gonna take this, reflect that again. And we're gonna take these muscles, reflect those. And once we get that out of the way, once we remove those two, we have two muscles here. We have one here, one there. Out of those two, I want you to identify this muscle. And that goes from here to here, from there to there. Kind of outline it like that. Identify that muscle there. Number seven. Let's put this back in place. Let's move this down. Let's get this back over here. And we are going to highlight this guy right here. All right, so you see if I get under both these, so we got these two muscles here, they're related to each other. Out of those two, I want you to identify this one right here. That was number seven. Number eight. So let's move this out of the way. Let's flip this up here. And we're gonna go to this V-shaped muscle that we have right here, okay? And if we follow the anterior portion of that muscle there, I want you to identify the muscle that we can see right here right, which passes under this, right? So identify this muscle that we can see right there, and that one passes underneath of that muscle there, this guy. That's number eight. Number nine, let's go to the other side for a second. And put this back in place. All right, so let's take this muscle here. We're kind of spread this guy out on this side. All right, so we have this muscle here. And if we look 
right here, we have a portion of that muscle that the fibers are going this way instead of that way. And I wanna know what is this part of this muscle called? This part here that the fibers are going this way. So get a nice example of it right there. Identify that. So that's number nine. Um, let's go back to the other side. Number 10. So let's take this, let's reflect it like this, and let's put this back down. All right, so we have this whole structure right here, and we have this one here. These two things are related. And then there is one more of these that we cannot see that is located inside the mouth. And I wanna know what is that last one of these that we would find inside the mouth called? Number 11, so let's take this muscle and just fold it back this way and move this here. And number 11 is to identify this muscle that I'm outlining right here, that muscle. That's 11. All right, for number 12, if you follow number three, which was here, so we get this up out of the way. Number three was to identify this, this structure here. If we follow number three to its duct, I want you to tell me what other number that you identified in this quiz does that duct pass deep to, or does it pass underneath? All right, so I want you to follow number three to its duct and tell me what other number on this quiz does that duct pass deep to. That's 12. And then for 13, if we go back to number 2B, 2B, which was this particular feature right here, I want you to tell me what attaches to the underside of this feature. So what attaches to the inside of that feature right here? That would be number 13. Okay, that's all the questions. So pause if you need more time. When you're ready, unpause and we'll go over the answers. All right, so let's go through the answers. First one, come down here, we take platysma, we reflect platysma, and we uncover sternocleidomastoid. That was number one. Number two had two parts, 2A, 2B, and it was in here, and we kind of start from the tip of the chin, we come down, we run into three structures here. We wanted the second one, which again is what I'm kind of moving right there. That's the thyroid cartilage. That was 2A. 2B was what is this particular feature called, and that is the laryngeal prominence or the Adam's apple. Number three was to identify this structure that we're moving here, and that is the submandibular gland. That was number three. Number four was take sternocleidomastoid, reflect it. We have these two muscles here, which is gonna be omohyoid, and then the one we asked about here, which is sternohyoid. Number five was put platysma back down. We want to know what muscle surrounds this area here, and that's going to be orbicularis oris. Number six was, let's move platysma. We already have sternocleidomastoid out of the way. We're now going to reflect omohyoid and sternohyoid. Get those out of the way. And then we uncovered these two muscles and we wanted to identify this one here, which is gonna be thyrohyoid, thyrohyoid. Then number seven, let's move platysma, actually let's put these guys back here. Let's put platysma back down. We come up over here, we kind of highlighted these two muscles. We said they were related. Of those two, we wanna identify this one here and that is going to be zygomaticus minor.
Number eight was, let's move platysma. Let's grab the submandibular gland and lift that up. And we kind of exposed digastric here. And then we wanted to key into the anterior portion of the digastric. And we wanted to identify this muscle right here, this one that passes under the anterior portion of the digastric. And that is gonna be your mylohyoid muscle, mylohyoid. Then number nine, we switched sides here. And we kind of keyed into platysma on this side. And we said, if we follow platysma laterally, we want to know what this muscle here is called, which is just basically part of platysma where the fibers start going horizontally instead of vertically. And this whole thing right here is going to be rosorius. Number 10 was we kind of keyed into these two things here, which are two of your salivary glands. So we got parotid gland here, submandibular. So I kind of pointed to those two and I said, I want to know what the third one is that's located inside your mouth. And that would be the sublingual gland. Then number 11 was to take platysma out of the way and uncover this muscle that we can see right here, and that is masseter. Then number 12. If you follow number three to its duct, number three was the submandibular gland. If we follow the submandibular gland towards its duct, which would be right up in this area here, we wanna know what other uh, number of this quiz did that pass beneath, and that would have been Milo Highway, which was number uh, eight. Number eight. So if you follow number three to its duct, it passes deep to number eight. That's what you want to put. And then number 13 was we go back to 2B, which is the laryngeal prominence here, and we wanted to know what is attached to the underside or the inside of the laryngeal prominence, and those would be the vocal folds are attached here. That's it.